As Rohingya Muslims flee Myanmar, a very timely film arrived at the New York Film Festival, profiling the Buddhist monk widely seen as stirring up hatred against them. It's an intimate portrait of a very influential and controversial figure, as Kizzy Cox reports. With these searing images, director Barbe Schroeder shines a harsh light on what a top United Nations official calls a textbook example of ethnic cleansing in Myanmar. The target is the small Rohingya Muslim population in the majority Buddhist country. The instigator of this anti-Muslim violence is seen by many as the powerful Buddhist master Ashen Rawatu, who's been charged with using the specter of Muslims taking over Myanmar to strike fear in his audience. But why is Ratu's speech so seductive in Buddhism, a religion based on love for all? That's why I, I, I made the movie, because I wanted to understand how it was possible for Buddhism. I wanted to have, uh, to understand why this was possible coming from that religion. The answer isn't clear, but the results are. Alleged Buddhist attacks on Muslim homes, rapes and other atrocities have driven more than half a million Rohingyas out of Myanmar in the past two months. The majority have fled to Bangladesh, and thousands more are leaving by the day. And so the innocent one, absorbing a drop at a time, can end up filled with evil. While Schroeder claimed it was fairly easy to convince Rawatu to be interviewed, Shooting the film at his monastery had its fair share of challenges. Schroeder claimed Watu even had his own film crew. So, like, we're talking, and there is another crew there that are filming, me especially. Uh, I'm filming him, and his crew is filming me and the interpreter and catching everything we say and, and all that. So it was a strange uh, uh, interview situation. <laughs> During the making of the documentary, Ruwatu filmed Schroeder, while Schroeder filmed him. From Ruwatu's perspective, this made sense since he's gotten his fair share of negative press. Back in 2013, Time magazine dubbed him the face of Buddhist terror. But with views that are in direct contradiction to Buddhist principles, why don't other Buddhist masters do more to push back against his hateful rhetoric and stand up for Rohingya Muslims? Because it's not in the temperament of Buddhism to push hard or to talk hard. In the Buddhism, they, the real Buddhists, they have a soft way of doing things. The film, which makes some political points, moves beyond Myanmar to show how Wiratu is thinking internationally. Barbe Schroeder believes his film is many things, but can also be seen as a warning. The cautionary tale is beware of hate speech. That is definitely a cautionary tale, because you can have speeches and speeches for years and years, and suddenly, overnight, it can become a disaster affecting millions of people. 